Well, welcome everyone to the initial press conference for March Badness, Boxing and MMA, featuring eight-time uh, world champion Roy Jones versus Omar Shika. This is a kind of a hybrid event where it's, it's unique. It's, although it's been done before, boxing and MMA, it's never been done at this level. Uh, and uh, with Roy, we really have a wonderful opportunity to get some big stars uh, that have, have joined us at Square Ring here to, to put on what's going to be a really great uh, evening of boxing and MMA. And we're really excited to be the first to really do this on a national pay-per-view level. Uh, one of the guys that's going to be fighting on the card uh, that wasn't is a guy by the name of Jeff the Snowman Munson. He was recently featured in a three-page spread in ESPN magazine, and he has a record of 27 and 8 with uh, 17 submissions and two KOs. Jeff is an open anarchist and recently got into some trouble uh, for spray painting the uh, anarchist symbol on the state capitol in Washington. Uh, state and had a court appearance yesterday and so unfortunately he was not able to be here but he plans on being at the fight. I spoke to him yesterday. He's still uh, very excited and doesn't think his uh, legal troubles will be a problem. Uh, Munson is going to be taking on uh, Roy Big Country Nelson who has a record of 13 and 3 with 6 KOs and 3 submissions. Roy is considered one of the toughest MMA fighters in the country and the Nelson versus Munson fight is going to be one heck of a fight between two guys with outstanding skills. Another fighter, another superstar that we've got is a fellow by the name of Bob Lashley. He's relatively new to the MMA, but he's been a longtime wrestling superstar. And he will be fighting in his second pro uh, MMA fight. He has excellent skills and is considered by many to be uh, one of the hot young prospects in the MMA world. He won his first fight by KO in only 41 seconds, and we've got a number of guys lined up that want to do battle with him, and we'll be finalizing his opponent within the next few days. So stay tuned, we'll be putting out a release on that. But I'd like to invite up Bobby Lashley to address you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you again. Um, like everyone else, I'm gonna thank Roy Jones Jr and his promotion for putting on this great event. I think this is a great time to be a boxing fan and MMA fan, especially with this card. I mean, you have some of the greatest fighters around with Roy Nelson, Seth, the legend killer, and everyone else is gonna be on this card. I think it's gonna be a great time. I would if I had an opportunity to talk a little trash on the guy that I'm fighting, but uh, we haven't found that guy yet, so when we find out who that is, I'll be sure to let him know he's going to get a beat down when it comes to March 21st. And it's going to be a great show. Come see my second fight. It'll be another knockout, guaranteed. Thanks, Bobby. Um, in our co-feature event, uh, we've got Doug, the Rhino Marshall, is going to be taking on the Kimbo Conqueror, Seth Petrozelli, in the co-feature. Doug has a record of nine and three. Uh, he's got six KOs and three submissions. He's a former WEC light heavyweight champion is, and is a Mai Tai and Jiu Jitsu specialist from California. So I'd like to invite Doug to come on up. Hey, thanks a lot. Just like everybody else just came up here, obviously thank Roy Jones Jr. Thank you. Square ring. You know, uh, this is a great opportunity for myself, you know, to uh, really show and showcase uh, my talents. Um, Seth Petrozelli's labeled the Kimbo killer. You know, he's the guy that beat the guy. Well, uh, March 21st, I'm going to be the guy that beat the guy that beat the guy. Um, so I don't know if that's going to change my nickname to the guy who beat the guy who beat the guy or if I can still keep the rhino. But, uh, you know, either way, March 21st, it's going to be a great card. Um, you know, being on pay-per-view, elevating the status of, you know, with mixed martial arts and boxing, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be great. You know, there's going to be a bunch of new fans uh, swinging both ways, you know, boxing leaning towards MMA, MMA leaning towards boxing. I don't think there's going to be too many boring uh, fights on this card, and I will guarantee that uh, me and Seth won't be a boring fight at all. Um, well, crap, if that's the case, then... I want to be the guy who wants to beat the guy who is going to beat the guy that already beat the guy. I don't know, something like that. 
Anyway, <laughs> it's going to be an exciting fight no matter what. This is the first time I'm going to be cutting a, a lot of weight down to 195. Um, I don't know. It's not going to be too easy doing it, but uh, I might be able to do it. Um, no, I'll do it. Just uh, everyone get there. It's going to be an exciting fight. Um, thanks, everyone, for being here. Thank you to Roy Jones especially, having me, John Wirt, uh, Square Ring Promotions. Uh, come out and watch the fight, guys. It's going to be a barn burner for sure. When they made this fight, they, you know, Omar Shiko versus Roy Jones, I told everybody it's a legend versus the, one of the most exciting fighters of our era. You know, from ESPN to USA Network, Omar, you know, Omar's always came in there, put up a good fight, won a lot of fights, and, you know, because of his injuries and his bad decisions in his life, he's never really got to the plateau that he's always wanted to be, a champion. And, you know, this is an opportunity for Omar to be the legend. And when I say legend, you know, people, you know, I always, I say this to everybody, you know, your failures are known, your successes are not, and, you know, people can't take away what Roy Jones has done in his life, you know, from the Olympics to his first professional fight to his middleweight championship of the world to his super middleweight to his going all the way up to the heavyweight championship, then going back and defending his, I mean, the guy's a legend, and you can't take away that, you can't take that away from him. And, you know, for us to have him on our ledger will be exciting and, and put Omar back on the plateau. You know, Omar didn't think twice when they offered him the fight. He was like, Roy Jones Jr., he was like, he's, that was his dream when he was coming up as one of, you know, one of the prospects. When Omar's career started, he started fighting every two weeks. And we had Olympians that they even fight, you know, every two months. And he was on TV every week, every week. And his dream was to fight, you know, the most exciting, most best fighter in the world, pound for pound, was Roy Jones, and you know, now they're here. And on March 21st, everybody in Pensacola and everybody that buys a pay-per-view are gonna watch one of the, a great, great fight and a great, great undercard. I can sit here and talk all day about Roy Jones Jr., about the great achievements he accomplished in boxing, you know, something that, you know, I wanna do in boxing. So to get the opportunity to fight Roy Jones Jr., it's a dream fight for anybody, anybody who stepped in the ring with Roy Jones Jr. So I, you know, had a lot of setbacks and, you know, distractions and everything, you know, only a fighter knows what a fighter goes through in, in the ring. So I'm just thrilled to be here to get this opportunity to fight Roy Jones and to come out here and put on um, a great performance March 21st. I know it's an opportunity for me and I'm looking for that. I'm looking to, um, you know, take advantage, full advantage of my opportunity. And um, come March 21st, I'm going to be ready. I know Roy Jones is always ready, so I know I got to be at my best and um, Hopefully, um, we'll put on one of the most exciting fights uh, Pensacola ever seen. Thank you. Feel good to be home. I know Roy Light fighting at home. And actually, Omar Sheik and Nettles, we playing this fight about 12 years ago in London. And he asked to fight Roy. I tried to call Roy from London then. But you got to be careful what you ask for. March 21st, it'll be a good one. Y'all be there. Um, I guess this is a new era, 2009 is a new era a new mark for this country. And I want to start my new beginning of my career back at home. And I've been waiting to do that for a long time. I think that's why I ain't been really getting off to a good start lately because I want to start out at home first. So now that I'm back here, I feel so proud and I'm so thrilled to be able to kick it back off in Pensacola because that's where I love to be and that's where the people love me. So um, I'm very thrilled to fight Omar. I'm no fool, I mean, I'm getting up in age, and they say the older you get, the smarter you get. I don't know if I'm getting too smart, but I do know that uh, Omar is a strong puncher. Uh, it takes a lot to put Glenn Johnson on his back. Uh, Glenn Johnson put me on my back, so he put Glenn down and beat him. So I was looking forward to getting back to Glenn, but since I can't get to Glenn, I get to the next best thing, which is somebody that beat Glenn. And that's why I wanted to fight somebody as durable as an Omar Sheikah. Um, March 21st represents a beautiful day because 44 years ago, Martin Luther King started his Freedom March on March 21st, and his vision was, we are all one. And to fight on March 24th, 44 years later, the fact has come true, his dream has came, and we are all one. And that's what I love about this whole date. That's why I'm so thrilled to be performing again in front of my people, because I always felt like in Pensacola, we were all one. So when I go, Pensacola go with me everywhere I go, and now I'm back home, and Pensacola can come out to support me here at home. And I can't wait to stand up in Pensacola and say Pensacola in the house. <laughs> so, and uh, like I say, it just, it's been a wonderful career. 
a wonderful run for me, one that I couldn't have asked for a better dream to come true. Um, everything I've done has been by the grace of God, and I appreciate his mercy for allowing me to be the person that I've become. I love being a spokesperson for this town and for anybody that I can help, I do. And um, I just, like I said, I went out my way to be the best role model for kids in this community that I could be. And that's what my career has been all about, more so than just the accolades that I have in boxing. It's a lot of them, but they don't mean nothing if people don't want to see you. And there's people that are right here now that are happy. They're three of because I'm fighting the Pensacola again and they want to see me. And I love y'all for that. So um, once again, it's a blessing for me to be here. I can't wait. Uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm always three of the fight at home. Don't ask me for no tickets because I don't do tickets, McGee do. I do wins. <laughs> so I'm here to get what I got to get. And God bless y'all all for being here. See y'all March 21st.